Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want to break down my one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, Psalm 23. And Psalm 23 was attributed to King David. But before David was a king, he was a shepherd. So he had firsthand experience and he understood the relationship between a shepherd and its sheep. So David was able to compare his relationship with the Lord to him being a shepherd because he understood and he could relate to what to the to the responsibilities that a shepherd has to his sheep. So he starts by saying this, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Right here, David is making a declaration. He is saying that the Lord is his shepherd. The Lord here means Jehovah, the existing one in the Hebrew language. He understood that a shepherd, a shepherd's responsibility is to care for his sheep. So he could confidently say that he lacks for nothing because Jehovah, the existing one, is his shepherd and his provider. In verse 2, he says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Sometimes a sheep don't know what they want, don't know where they need to go. They need someone to lead and to direct them. They need someone to care for them. So a pasture, meaning it a P-A-S-T-U-R-E to a shepherd is a place of rest, a place for them to be filled up, to be fed. You know, sometimes in life, you know, things, things are just not going right. Life is upon us. Things aren't going the way we want them to go or the way that we planned for them to be. But sometimes it is the Lord just tugging at us and saying, Listen, I need you to take a rest. I need you to lay down. Let me lay you down in green pastures. Let me lead you beside still waters. Let me be your provider. Let me be your guide. For I know the thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and hope. The Lord wants to be your shepherd. Then David says in verse 3, He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. After the shepherd, you know, takes the sheep out, into the pasture for rest, to be filled up. The sheep will feel renewed and restored. Restore here in this verse means to, to bring back, to read state, and the soul means the mind. So in this rest, in this time, we have to give our lives over to the Lord. Our mind, or thoughts, or will, because the Lord, He will restore our soul. He will give us a peace of mind. He will fill us up in areas where we are empty. He will be the light in the darkness. He will be, he will be faith where there is fear. The Lord will meet your emotional needs. He will bring you into a place of rightness, of right standings with him because his name is holy. And if we are carrying his name, we must be holy. Then David says in verse four, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Guys, I'm going to end right here for now, and we're going to pick up on the next video, and I'm going to continue to break down the other three verses. So join me for the next video when I will continue with um, Psalm 23. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Manna for Thoughts.